The next part is about voltage. Now, what is voltage? The voltage of a circuit component tells you how much electrical energy it is supplying or it is using. For example, all of you must have seen a battery before. On the double A battery, for example, if you look carefully, you see a number 1.5 with a V next to it. Now, this is the voltage of the battery. It tells you, it gives you an idea of how much electrical energy the battery can supply. If you look at a car battery, what you see is that you see the number 12 with the letter V next to it. It tells you that it's supplying much more electric energy than a double battery because the number 12 is bigger than the number 1.5. Voltage, there are two types, just like a human is either male or female. So the first type of voltage that I want to talk to you about is called the electromotive force. Even though there is the word force in the name, this is not a force. Now, the short form for electromotive force is EMF. What is this for? This is the voltage of a source of electrical energy. It tells you how much electrical energy this source can supply. The bigger the number, the more it can supply. The second type of voltage is called potential difference. The short form is PD. Now, why is this for? This is for a circuit component that is not a source of electrical energy. For example, a light bulb. Now, this tells you how much electrical energy that the circuit component, for example, a light bulb, uses. So both of this, whether it is EMF or PD, are voltage. But the difference is that EMF is for a source of electrical energy. PD is for a circuit component that uses electrical energy. At your level, the EMF of electric circuit must be equal to the PD of electric circuit. For the simple reason that the electrical energy supplied must be equal to the electrical energy used. The electrical energy used cannot exceed that which is supplied. Just like electric current, voltage has a unit. The SI unit is called the volt. The symbol is a capital V. Voltage is measured using an instrument called the voltmeter. The symbol for voltmeter is a circle with a capital V inside. And there is a wire on each side. Now, how do you connect a voltmeter in a circuit? Now, as you can see in this diagram, we have two voltmeters. This one that is connected across the electric cell. And this one, which is connected across the light bulb. Now, the one that is connected across the electric cell, it measures the voltage of the electric cell. That is the EMF of the electric cell. The one that is connected across the light bulb measures the voltage, that is the PD of the light bulb. Now, if you look at the way the voltmeter is connected for each of this, you discover that, for example, for the case of the light bulb, when the current flows to here, it will come to a junction. And at this junction, the current will split up into two currents. So, this arrangement of the light bulb and the voltmeter results in 
one current splitting up into two current. That is, originally there is only one way for current to flow. But because of the way the light bulb and the voltmeter connected, there are now two ways for the current to flow. That is, more than one way for the current to flow. When two circuit components are connected in such a way that there will be more than one way for current to flow, we say that they are connected in parallel. This is in contrast to what we have earlier. As I mentioned earlier, the electric cell and the emitter, they are connected in series. That is because there is only one way for current to flow through the two of them.